Number 16. No, inside. Ball inside. Now batting the left fielder, number 38. Scoop up a plate of maki at ground roll sushi. Located on level two. Now batting the right fielder, number five. First baseman, number 23. batting the designated hitter number 21. Third baseman, number 12. Jesse Velocida. Now batting the 
shortstop, number 23. Number 21. Fielder number 12. Now pitching number 46. Now batting the catcher number 34. The catcher, number 22. Now batting the shortstop, number 29. The second baseman, number 24. We did it! We did it! <laughs> now batting, number 15. Mid-time! Now batting, the center fielder, number 10. If you see the team mascot around, give them a wedgie for a free slice of sushi poutine. Now batting, the first baseman, number 16. <laughs> now batting, number 17. That's it. That's it. That's a strike. Number 38.
well, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a wonder if this works at all. Is that me? That's me. Hello, I'm in the dark, uh, and it's very echoey in here. If you thought it was echoey yesterday and you tuned in yesterday, that's nothing compared to how echoey it is today. I am I'm in a mysterious shifting colourscape. Oh, and. <laughs> There you go. And the desk is in the middle of the room, which is why the echoes are at an all-time high. So apologies if the sound is not what you are used to, because um, uh, I'm I'm repainting the room basically, uh, and I've still got one wall to do, which is why uh, I've got a temporary setup, which is why I'm a little surprised any of it works even remotely. So there you go. Um, is it a new setup? It's a temporary setup. Temporary setup. And I'm about, oh, I'm about oh, half a metre further away. What's that in feet? Uh, 17 ounces. Uh, further away from the monitors than usual. So I am bespectacled so that I can make anything out at all. And I'm already regretting the microphone <laughs> position. Oh, God, that's fallen off. Hang on. Oh, that's a technical issue. Hang on. No, we'll have to... Well, why, why are you not snapping? You should be snap. Oh, this is going to make all kinds of problems. I might put the, I might put the placeholder game on again. <laughs> it's because I took it all apart and put it all back together. And why are you so flipping bouncy? Stop being so bouncy. Just you, just would you just play the? Oh, flaming heck! Uh, yeah. No, well, I, they they'll use a specialist microphone in an actual set. I am going to have to go de microphone. Uh, Apologies. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the pre intro thing back on again, but I'll reappear before it finishes, because um, I can't I can't just leave it. If I leave it dangling like that, nothing's it's not going to it's not going to work. Oh, um, the problematico technica. I'll leave the microphone turned on, but I will disappear from it as I unplug it momentarily. Right, I think that's going to have it. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably got it. Right, yeah, you see now? Now you're doing almost exactly what I want you to do. Right, we can go back to me now. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. I don't, that genuinely hadn't expected that to happen. Uh, my microphone came off its stand. Uh, but you, well, you saw. You saw the microphone just came off. Because I've got it on the other side because everything's wired up wrong. I've got cables all over the place, and that drives me absolutely nuts. Because as soon as I'm done on the stream, I'm taking it all apart again. Uh, and and there you go. Let's play some baseball. Hey, that's a thing we're here to do. Uh, right, I've got the standings up, and we've got a double bill against the Grunt Auto group. We can't do much to do anything for ourselves, but what we can do... Hang on, let's do the wildcard standings. We're currently fourth from bottom. Good times, uh, good times. What we can do, however, is we can ruin it for the Grunt Auto group and potentially let the Steganauts in, who are currently sat in a wildcard position. How oh, exciting. Are you not excited? Well, if, uh, I don't know what it'll take. If this, if this doesn't fill you full of thrills, then uh, it's anybody's guess. Right, let's go straight into game one. I need a bit more of that. Uh, right now, changes. Shandy Worthless is completely off form, so he's toast for this game. Who's my replacement first baseman? It's Reverend Joe. Oh, or Benny Cheese. Oh, okay. I might go with that. No, his fielding's terrible. Uh, yeah, Reverend Joe. His fielding's even worse. Now, you see, the reason to keep Reverend Joe on the bench is that he gets a big boost. 
if coming on as a pinch hitter, uh, Benny Cheese, his fielding is not good. I need a first baseman who can actually play first base. Uh, now, I mean, he's he's a second baseman. What's who's my existing? Se Cindy is my existing second baseman. Cindy, what else can you do? You can play anything infield. Uh, what if I were to change your position to play first? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's let's have a look. So Cindy's in her secondary position, and she still looks pretty good. So Cindy's going to play first. Right, and then Shandy, get out of it. Uh, we'll substitute you for Benny Cheese, who can play second. Nice. Uh, Bernard Dunk is in a positive frame of mind, but his fitness isn't all that. Now, that shouldn't be too big a factor, because it's not like we speed with him anyway. Uh, no, no, speed? Steal. It's not like we steal with him anyway. So his lack of speed isn't going to kill us too badly. Uh, you could bring hardware in. Yeah, he's already strained. I might bring hardware in later in the game. Uh, Coral will leave where she is. Rooster is doing the pitching. Uh, let's go play some. Yeah, no, I'm feeling it. We're at home. Hey! And, uh, and there are a few names on the Grunt Auto group uh, that will... Oof, that it's will all sort. Time. Uh, yeah, turn that back down a little bit. There we go. Oh, what's going on with the bunker? The bunker is being refurbished at present. Uh, so, uh, so I'm in a very temporary. I'm in a temporary setup uh, for the moment, which is why the microphone's on the wrong side, which is why you've not got any front lighting at all. It's uh, what I'm wearing. My glasses, eyes, all kinds of stuff. Here's Bingo Hazmat. And uh, he's batting 291, which for a regular, he's got mind weevils. Ooh, okay. Well, Rooster, let's uh, let's see what we're made of here. Starts out with a strike. Well, that's that's a good way to go. That one's got as far as Cindy, who will trot back to first. And of course, Cindy's significantly faster than Shandy Worthless. So you know, maybe we're in for some uh, for some business. Here's Veronica Gondolier. Uh, I didn't get a look at her stats. She's batting 181. Oh, okay. Rooster sticking with the fastball, but that one not quite finding where it's supposed to be. No, it found somewhere else entirely. Uh, Chubbs dives short, and that one will have to be fielded. Uh, runner now to first with one out. Uh, and here's former Bulldozer Power favourite, Kojak Misteron. Six home runs for her this season, which is a little lower than she would expect if she was still playing for us. Ball one. Okay. All right. Keep keep going. Keep hitting the inside, Roost. That's the stuff. Yeah. Uh, slide in another one, sort of topish. That's quite high. No, she wasn't going to go for that. Uh, as a as an expert batter. She's going to have a hitting position that is extraordinary. So uh, so even if I am a little off target, it's not going to help me much. We might fall her with a change up. It would be a miracle if we did. No, 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 but we didn't. Okay, what are you going to, what are you going to finish her off with? Nothing. She's going to get a hit. Eventually. Eventually she's going to get a hit. Uh, yeah, yeah, keep keep throwing them in there, Rooster. Oh boy, is that? Yeah, that is out of here. She had a feeling it was coming, and she was right. Kojak Mister on slapping one over centre field. I mean, she's a heck of a batter, so that's. I mean, that's hardly unexpected. Can't call foul on that one. Here's Mansour Kettle Chips, who, from the looks of him, possibly leads the team when it comes to home runs this year. 12 out of however many games we've played. Oh, you know, a couple. Flipping he has got a piece of that. Just short of uh, out of here, but it's enough for, for a double. Okay, these guys are going to light me up. Well, they are top of the division. That's hardly the point. Flinty Wimple. Next up to bat. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, she likes the inside pitches. So we will endeavour to not throw the inside pitches. 
Ah, see, that's how that game's played. There's strike two. Don't neglect the K's, Rooster. That's not a bad pitch. And it's fouled off. Okay, try to change up. I mean, you'll be lucky. But, you know, be lucky. Good pitch. Nope, she's got it. Oh, just crumbs. Trip them as they run past. Well, chance would be a fine thing, uh, Tim. Uh, and Veronica has a dive, but can't quite make it. Coral will field that one. Runners now at the corners. Only one out so far here in the first inning. Here's Gustav Schenk. Not so much of a batter, Gustav Schenk. Okay. It doesn't mean he's not going to get a hit. It just means that on paper, not so much of a batter. There's strike two. All right. Inside. Lowish. He's, he saw that coming. Really? I haven't been that much of a dead giveaway. Oh, come off it. Just off. Oh, like, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I knew you were going to throw that. Yes, yeah, suck on that, pal. Get off my field. Yeah, you dirty, cheating scumbag. Here's Mildred Slippings. And uh, she's not at her best. And I don't know why. Oh, because she's got her first pitch. No hoper. All right. Well, and out here would save us an awful lot of trouble. Uh, if we give up, if we give up another hit, things are not going well for us. I mean, as it is, you don't really want to be giving up a home run in the first inning, but sometimes these things happen. Yardy, oh, he kind of slowed it down a little bit there, but he didn't manage to make the catch. Came close to it, but didn't manage to make the catch. Number 43. <sighs> Cherry Margarita next up. She's slow as anything. She's actually their pitcher. And she can hit. Why have I not got pitchers who can hit? I don't know. Well, you, I mean, you could have picked one. Yeah, but I mean, I chose pitchers who could pitch until I stopped drafting pitchers. Ah, uh, Val there with a jump, but doesn't manage to get it. We're giving up runs like we're giving them away. Uh, well, we're, we're giving away runs. Runs just, I mean, just runs everywhere. Here's Dave the Toast King. And we're still in search of just one out to try and, you know, stop stop things being bad. Cindy with a jump. No, nothing, nothing going. Uh, yeah, they've got their engine running. And that's another run. This is a monstrous first inning. Well, one can only hope that their, their fielding is worse than their, than their batting. And here's the cat. Cat, just don't get in the way of the important bit and we'll be fine here. Uh, Rooster now, 30 runs into the after, uh, 30 pitches, I should say, into the afternoon. Benny Cheese, Benny Cheese, and that's out number three. Anyone taking public transit on the way home? Okay. Alright, well, we've, like we've fallen behind a little. And, uh, and we've fallen behind a little a little early on. But uh, it'll, be, it'll be fine. It'll be what it, well, it'll be what it is. Trailing by five, Richard Yardline takes to the plates. And uh, he's facing off. Uh, against, uh, was it Cherry Margarita? I think it probably was, wasn't it? Yes, it is. Alright. Yardy waiting him out. Yeah. He likes that, though, and that'll put him on base. Uh, and he's going to be solid. Alright. Well, how is the arm of this catcher? Uh, well, well, we'll find out in a moment. Okay, now, uh, Richard Yardline is the league's... Uh, the, the pitcher's arm is good. Right, we won't be stealing then. No. But that's a really good hit there from Cindy. Yardy takes off. He's gone for third. He rounds third. He's going for home. Richard Yardline! Three bases there. And that's the ticket. Uh, BDP snagging one back. Forgot to run Cindy the extra base. Oh, no, I didn't. No, she got her double. That's not bad. That's going to be out. Cindy just managing to get back. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Is Cookie Peaches Wallace. Uh, she has been known to get us out of trouble on numerous occasions. 
Will this be one of them? Or will it not be one of them? It might... I don't know. Alright. Okay. Just wait your time. That's three strike... Uh, three balls there. And so's that. And that's a walk. Runners now first and second for BDP. One out. Chubsy Beaver next up. Okay. Alright. Yep. Yep. It's the Beaver. Yeah. That was solid. But we are trying to... Uh, I mean, we... Uh-oh, that's really bad news. That's bad news. And the beaver gets us killed. Hello, cat. I'm in the middle of something, and you can't appreciate it because you're deaf as a post. Just go and enjoy the colours, but don't stand in front of the baseball. No, no. Don't make me eject you from the viewing area. The second baseball. Number 34. I might have to eject the cat. We might have a cat timeout going on early on. I am only fielding. But uh, no, no, you're going to find this far too exciting, Cat. I, I swear, strikey, strikey, you strike. really are. You might not be able to resist uh, watching the baseball. Now, the reason the Cat is up here rather than elsewhere is because... Oh, nice strikeout. Yeah, I know, I misaimed. Um, is that the, uh, the old... The old downstairs is currently filled with young Herberts who are all screaming at a PlayStation as they make ludicrous characters and beat each other up with them in Soul Calibur. Uh, just in case you were wondering. And, look, and when that sort of thing... Oh, hold on. That's gone a long way. That's gone too far. The, the floor wires are horrendous. Jeff, I just thought, you know. Yeah. 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 Well, this is... This is not going well. Number thirty-one. It's it's not it's not going well. Rooster is I mean he's he's scared. He doesn't want to be here, but he has landed a strikeout. A couple more decent pitching performances from uh, from the Rooster, and uh, and his confidence will come back again. But as it stands, I'm I'm already considering dropping him, despite the fact that I can't afford to. <laughs> I've got to keep him in. What's that? Ball two. Right. Okay. The cat's only partially in the way at the moment, but he can. He's going to be substituted uh, when I'm batting. Yeah. That's outside. All right. Come on, just get one in the strike zone. We don't want to walk anyone. That's it. Coral. Nice one. Okay. There's a second out. Number eighteen. Okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Flinty Wimple. Round again for another go. Likes the inside pitches. We will endeavour not to throw her the inside pitches. No, we'll give her something else. And she'll go, oh, throw me an inside pitch. And I'm going to go, no, I'm not going to throw you an inside pitch. I'm going to throw pitches that aren't inside and see how you get on. That one's gone to Benny. Benny fields it. Whips it over to Cindy. And that's out number three. And all is well here. And life is good and rich. But we did give up another run. That's not perfect. But Benny now has the opportunity to prove himself. His, I think this might be his first start of the season. Uh, which he should be, you know, pretty flipping happy about. As a, uh, as a backup player. And immediately gets a hit. Good work, Benny Cheese. Very nice. Good times. Well played. Here's Bernard Dunk. Now, Bernard Dunk has nine home runs. That's not bad. Uh, but we are considering dumping him in favour of Julie Hardware later in this game. And that's a good hit as well. All right. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Everything here is good. And everything about what we're doing is working. Here comes Coral. She doesn't quite have the power for the fence. But uh, a base hit here will be sufficient. Forces a fielding error. It's really chancy. Get back, get back, get back. Oh, well, never mind. All right, we're in. <laughs> that was a bit close. Well, Rooster's now up for a pitch, uh, for a bat. Jeff, now is really not the time, son. Just keep your, uh, keep your fluffy bits out of the way. Rooster there swings at the first one and it doesn't come off. Shush. Don't make me throw you out of the room. Make yourself comfortable and sit down. Sit. 
There. Right. Okay. Who's this? I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's Rich Yardline. Okay. Yardline is not going to be happy about that one. He didn't get himself out, and that gives us runner at the corners. Uh, but with two outs, it falls to Cindy to try and convert this into anything. There's the pitch out. Interesting move. That's ball two. Okay. All right. Cindy does not manage to manifest another run, but BDP scoring again. And the four goal cushion, the four goal, four run cushion that we like to give opposing teams is so far exactly what we expected. At the end of two innings, BDP are trailing six runs to two. Right, is Gustav Shank, Rooster's mood has improved. Uh, but can he, you know, will he? And does he? Uh, is he going to? Uh, so anybody, that's, that's not helpful. Come on, Rooster. Just throw something basic, son. That's it. There you go. All right. Now then. Uh, I wanted to get through four innings, Rooster. Ideally, without giving up another five inning run inning. There's a strikeout. Rooster views. He's still there. He's he's not giving up. He's sticking it in and uh, taking it back out again. Right. It's a nice enough first pitch. Roosty. Straight down the middle. Come on. You, if you can't hit one that goes straight down the middle into a, a clean area of the field, what does that say about you? Benny. Benny's got it. Whips it over. Cindy cleans up. That's two outs. Here's Cherry Marguerite to the pitcher. All right. Okay. Now, now, we're, now we're looking. But uh, we shouldn't look too much. Still a lot of work to do. Uh, but uh, we have demonstrated an ability to score. Cheese <laughs> falls over. All right. Well, okay, Cheese. Um, okay. All right. Here's Dave the Toast King. Got himself a single last time around. Runner now on first. Two outs. Top of the third. And uh, if you're late joining the game, you've missed uh, quite a bit. Yeah. As the scoreboard will no doubt tell you. Uh, we have been brutalised by uh, Kojak Misteron. Anyway, there's out number three. And a clean inning for BDP and Rooster Views. Valerie Hammock next up to bat. She'll be hoping to get on base this time. Won't you, Jeff? Yes, she will. All right. Here we go. Valerie Hammock. All right, Val. How many pitches have we done? We've done 23 pitches so far off Margarita. We're hoping for more than that. That one's gone a little high. That one, however, has gone straight to the fielder. Okay. Thanks for turning up, Val. Here comes Cookie. Last time around, she managed to walk. What's she going to get for us now? That one's not even close. Not even close. That one went entirely... Overcompensated, Cherry. Yep. Okay, I don't know what it is about Cookie, but uh, but Cherry is not into it. No. And that was apparently a strike. Okay, I'll allow it. And uh, after waiting the maximum number of pitches, Cookie Peaches Wallace uh, hits her way up to first. Okay. Here comes Chubbs. Now, Chubbs ruined it for everyone last time he was at the, at the plate, so hopefully... He doesn't do the same again this time. Big, reliable Chubbs Beaver nutmegs the pitcher and will trot up to first. One out, two runners on now. And uh, Benny the Cheese Cheese is coming up for a go. All right, Ben, let's, uh, let's do this. Don't do anything clever. That's not clever. That's brilliant. And the Cheese gets one away. Possibly could have made a, a, a double off that, but decided not to bother, but gets the run anyway. Excellent work from Benny Cheese. Here's Bernard Dunk. Well, if Bernard can take us downtown on this, we are right back in this game. Dunkers. You're not going to see a finer pitch than that. Yeah, I know, but we're, 
we have objective two, which is make the pitcher really tired. It's an ob another opportunistic taking of the home base, plate base, rounding the things and getting a point. Hang on. Do we need a cat time out here, cat? Or are you good? Okay. All right. Coral. That's a strike. BDP, plenty of life. Plenty of life in BDP. No I've got cat hair up my nose. That's not going to help. However, oh, unlucky. Now Big got snag the there by Number the shortstop. 25. And all of a sudden, we have two out. And it falls to Rooster Views to try and get on base. Rooster, over to... Never mind. Rooster there swings for it all. And gets very little of it. However, a big inning, Jeffy, you've gone right up by Schloss, son. A uh, big inning for BDP, pulling back two runs. The score is now Bordeaux's power four. The Grunt Auto Group, six. Okay. All right. Okay. This is a game, and it's being played. And the playing of this game is continuing. Now, Rooster, you're starting to get a bit tired, and you were pretty bad to start with. But if you can make it through this inning, I'll relax about relieving you. All right. I mean, arguably, had I got someone in who could actually bat, we might have tied up the game. But, I mean, I'm not going to hold that against you personally. You were playing the strategy that was being dealt. And, uh, and that was the strategy. Now, interestingly enough, Rooster doesn't usually give up all the runs in the world. He's usually not too terrible, but uh, he, he just got off to a slow start and it's, it's dented his confidence to the point that now he's not... Jeff, I am going to eject you. Take a chill pill and sit down. All right, leave, leave my parts alone. Uh, you're more than welcome to win. No, no, you can't scratch your face on the controller. That's really not going to help. I'll move up to there and you doze off, all right? That's the ideal scenario. That one's got a reasonable distance, but Coral's picked it off. That's the one away. Apologies 34. for that. Cat's interference uh, getting in the way of, uh, of arguably what is shaping up to be a halfway solid game. Nice fastball there from Rooster. All right, all right, all right, come on. That's a good, that's nice positioning, and it's gone foul. All right. Okay. All right. Where are you putting this to get them? <sighs> I don't know. Just, that's, that'll do. It's as good as any. And that's only gone as far as Cindy, who scampers back to first for the second out. And here comes two home runs today, Kojak Misteron. She's on fire. Yeah. Yep. Go on. Clear off. That's that's all that that's all we're saying about that. Kojak Mister On walked to first there automatically, and uh, we're going to go uh, going to go try and try and solve this with Mansour kettle chips. But Mansour himself is a heck of a player. Uh, we might struggle here, but when uh, when Kojak Mister On is all over it, uh, I'm not pitching to her. Not right now, maybe later, Kettle Chips puts one skyward, but I don't think it's got the range. Coral picks it off. There we go. There it is. Uh, right, another donut thrown there to uh, to the Grunt Auto Group. And we're round to Richard Yardline, whom, if he can get on base, really needs very little in order to scamper the rest of the distance for a run. Um, but he's got to get on base first, so let's worry about that, shall we? All right. Here we go. Imagine me worrying about it. All right. Okay. Yeah. I'll start trembling any second. It's a yard line base hit. And now he's dangerous. Okay. All right. Here comes Cindy. She's only one of two, but that one got us our opening run, and it was a double, so she's doing just fine. Uh, but a, a, a good, solid thwack from Cindy here could cause the Grunt Auto Group all kinds of trouble. Optimistic, and she's going to get both herself and Yardline terminated. Oh, dear. 
Yeah. Oh, Cindy. I put you on the thumbnail for this one as well to rile up the fans. Yeah. Well, here comes Valerie. Uh, speaking of players who haven't had any success today. Here's Valerie Hammock. <laughs> All right, Val. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's not gone far enough, and Val isn't going to make it out of uh, our first gear. And she's Gonzo. Speaking of Gonzo, say goodbye to the internet, Jeffy. Goodbye, internet. Now batting, third baseman, there number are lots 18. There that you could sit. None of them are in here. He is not going to be pleased about that. However, we've got baseball to attend to. Now, do you reckon he can get... Yeah, I, I mean, we've got to play these guys again. That's the thing. Alright, I'll let you have one. If you give up one hit. Chubbs? No stops. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and the crowd. Bit of fond farewell to the team mascot, who is probably now outside the door, uh, looking perplexed and saddened. Yeah. Sub him. Yeah, okay. All right. Roosty, you're done. Arguably, you lasted longer than anyone expected. Bert is about fit. Santino's ready to rock and roll. Homer Wobberboard is already in business. Homer, you're in uh, for the simple reason of uh, I want to save me goodens, if at all possible. Uh, yeah. Wobbleboard, of course, being our worst reliever, uh, both on paper and in execution. He hasn't had to play very much because he's been wounded since we drafted, since we traded him. Uh, however, that'll do that. Possibly could have got the double play there. But rather than risk it and get neither, it's always better to get one. Here's Mildred Slippings. All right, Slippy. Uh, just keep throwing the fastball, Homer. Just keep chucking it in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll chance your curve. A little later on. That was a nice pitch. Okay. Right. And a big fat sinker. Fouled off. Oh, I hate it when they do that. I know, but I mean, that's the flipping game, isn't it? Cookie Fields, that will throw to home. Pinning the runners at the corners. Okay. Well, we need a, we need a defensive play here in order to... Uh, uh, in order to avoid giving up anything else. All right. It's Margarita, the pitcher. And she's a bit full of herself today. Strike one. Don't show bunt. I will have to cut you if you show bunt. Yeah. All right. Okay. Two strikes. One ball. Wobbly. What's it going to be? We'll try high and tight. Well, that's not where it's gone, but it worked. Okay, out number two. Now back, the catcher, number 13. He's, he's partly gone because he got up my schnoz. Now, once he gets up my schnoz, my schnoz goes old, flaming old oh dear, and all that business. Here's Dave the Toast King, not their strongest hitter. Uh, Wobbleboard here with the opportunity to be the hero of the moment. All right, this guy's a whiffer. Uh, okay. Well, in which case, uh, a big sulky outside curve about... Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah. Woohoo! Homer Wobbleboard there with a strong performance to avoid giving up any more runs. And uh, this is uh, it's a lively one, but we're going to rely on uh, Cookie Peaches Wallace to get us going in the right direction. Which would be, you know, some sort of hit type behaviour, something like that. That would work. Alright, strike one, ball one. That one's fouled off. Alright. That one was a bit high. Cookie swung anyway, he's going to get caught. Oh, they were fighting over who was catching it as well. Okay, well, it happens. Uh, here's Chubbsy Beaver. Alright, Chubbs. Alright, Chubbs, come on, come on. And uh, their pitcher is starting to look a bit tired, which 
you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you consider that the picture also has hits today. And you go, oh, ah, yeah. They're going to they're gonna lose a batter as well as a pitcher. Uh, and Chubbs gets up to first. Here's Benny Cheese and his confidence is up. Well, unsurprisingly, he's two for two so far. He's batted in a run. But uh, he is arguably performing above expectations. Well, if he can keep doing that, he can perform above expectations as far as he likes. I don't mind. I'm not going to complain about that. The cheese there, taking his third ball. All right. That one's sort of in the strike zone. Well, it was in the strike zone. And that one's low. The cheese gets a walk. And the margarita looks to the sky and asks, what have I done? Why am I here? Is Bernard Dunk. Two runners on, one out. Bernard Dunk could be the hero or the villain of this piece here in the bottom of the fifth. And it's villain. Yep, definitely villain. Double play. BDP there. Big opportunity. Blown to smithereen. Ah, poo. At the end of five, the score is Bulldozer Power 4, Grunt Auto Group 6. It's a close one, but that early cushion from uh, Grunt Auto Group have put them in good stead. And, uh, and Wobbly is, well, he's got maybe one and a half, maybe two innings left in him. But that's okay. Yeah. You know he's rounding the batting order next. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, I guess it's going to depend how efficient he is at this, uh, in this, this top of the sixth type pitching behaviour. Good pitch. That one's gone to Cindy. She'll clean that one up. One away. Now batting the second baseman, number 34. Here comes the gondolier. She's batting a third. And here comes the wobbles. Starts with the curve. Oh, come on. That would have pulled a swing, surely. It didn't. That's a strike. strike one. All right. Let's go, Wobbler. Strike two. Beautiful fastball there from Wobbler. And where's he putting the third one? Just about there. Exactly there. Oh, come on. There was no way you got that. That one was well outside the strike zone, deliberately. That one's popped up. Homer comes in for it personally. And he's got it. There's a second out. A lovely job. Here's Kojak Mister on. Do you really want to pitch at her? It would be nice to take some of her confidence away, but she is looking sublimely conf. Don't even chance it, man. Don't even. Oh, uh, don't even chance it. But the next guy up is a hitter as well. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't don't build her up any more than you have to. Look, this will be the evaluation case, right? If she gets a hit off us here, then she's not getting another proper at bat for the rest of the game. However, if the wobbler can whoa, steady on. Uh if the wobbler can deliver, then we're golden. The wobbler does not deliver, but we're no worse off than had we intentionally walked her. So that's all good. Uh, unfortunately, Toby, I can't just throw it at her because doing so immediately demoralizes your pitcher. It's how they avoid people deliberately nobbling opposing batters. And given that you've only got a limited amount of control about nobbling opposing pitchers. And it doesn't work, yeah. <laughs> you can't be guaranteed to get any pain out of it. Uh, Val's going in for that one. And there's the third out. Wobbles, once again, avoiding any further hits. That's the flipping ticket, homie boy, wobble boards. I'm going to sit him because he's up second to bat. Uh, Coral's up first. Coral, we really need a hit here. Reverend Joe's going to come on. If you can get on base... Anything could happen. Coral there, swinging for the fence. Hasn't got any range at all. No. Flipping it, Coral. All right, homeboy, sit down. Uh, oh, hold on. They're taking out Cherry Margarita. They're bringing in Gaz Pumpit. 
uh, who's got plenty of stamina and is a hell of a player. Time. Oh dear. What? How is it? Every time I play this game, I'm always up against a guy. Oh, we'll substitute out this great pitcher and bring in this great pitcher. And you kind of go, oh, come on. You've just had one. You can't have that many great pitchers. Anyway, it's Reverend Joe, who was very much the hero of the revolution last week. Uh, but can he do it again? Uh, I mean, there's not much on the line. It's just him right now. That uh, one was a little overly anticipated. There's some magic swerve going on on those pitches, but Joe gets himself on base. All right. Okay. 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 Here comes Richard Yardline. Now, we're not in any kind of a stealing position here, but Yardline is a pretty good hitter regardless. And uh, Reverend Joe out there on first. He, I mean, he looks like he wants to run, but he's slow. That's a nice hit from Yardline. And it's gone! Yardline puts it over the fence and BDP are back in the house. And, well, I hadn't seen that coming. I mean, it's not, it, I mean, it's his ninth home run this season. Uh, but it couldn't have come at a better time. Bulldozer of power, tie things up. Here's Cindy Vapid now. And uh, Grunt's Auto Group must be asking themselves where it all went wrong. Having blown a five-run six. Six-run lead. They blown a six-run lead. Five-run lead. They blew a lead and it was a big lead. Okay, Cindy now on first. Uh, here's Valerie Hammock still looking for that elusive first hit of the day. All right, okay. No, Cindy's not going anywhere. Your your catch has got too good an arm. Yeah. Oh, Val, what are you thinking? Oh, Val gives it up easy again. Reverend Joe's done his job, and he got all the way around. Uh, and coming in next, you've got Santino Bananas. Okay, all right. At the end of six, it is six all. BDP, arguably, at the moment, looking like the team with some momentum. Uh, but anything could change. Here's Flinty Wimple. She's been on base twice today. And she's the first to face the Bananas, uh, who has got a hell of a curve. So we're going to try and sucker her in off a couple of fastballs to start with. And then, would you call that a fastball, Santino? Come on. Uh, and then... Ideally, well, okay, that works too. Anybody catch it? I don't care who. Val's got that one. Now batting, the center field, number seventeen. Okie dokie. Here's Gustav Shank. Now batting, and he's toast. He's gone. 71. He's leaving. Uh, they're bringing in Gretchen Dawntreader instead. Uh, I, I don't know why they didn't start her, to be honest. But I'm not gonna. I, I, I don't question their decisions. Well, I mean. I don't really question their decisions. I question them a bit. Gretchen. Chubbs. Chubbsy Beaver makes the catch. Here comes Mildred Slippings. All right. Okay. And uh, Santino's thrown four pitches and has two outs. I like it. Those are Jeff Conservative numbers. Uh, if he can hold this pace up, then we're in a, we're in a strong position. That one's fouled off, and now's the first look at the banana's curveball. Yeah, yeah, you don't know where it's going, and therefore you missed it. It's gone, and that's the end of the seventh, and uh, BDP up next. Cookie Peaches Wallace first up. Has she got some magic in her step? Has she? Well, she's in a very positive now frame of game, mind. She's almost bad. Gretchen Dawntrader's gone to sit back down again. And they're bringing in hand sanitizer uh, to take care of business at, I assume, first base? No. Centerfield? I don't know. Well, wherever. Yep, centerfield. All right. Okay, if you like. Yeah. That's a strike. All right. No rush. No rush here. No rush at all. Easy does it, and that's a walk. Cookie makes a base, and that's uh, that's good to see. Here comes the beaver. Right, okay. All right, Chubbs, don't do anything rash. 
Okay, just just wait for something tasteful, and then a, a straightforward low bouncer out to midfield would be lovely. Just like that. There you go. This is good stuff from BDP. Runners now, first and second. Here's Benny the Cheese Cheese. And he's in a very positive frame of mind, which has made his stats look very impressive. Uh, but can he capitalise? Because uh, if he can, this pitcher is going to lose all their mood entirely. The Cheese, not in a hurry. He's not in a hurry. That'll do. Cheese blats it out centre field. And the bases are loaded with no outs. Here's Bernard Dunk. If anybody could ruin your afternoon, it's this floppy-haired clown. All right, Sunshine. Now it's hero time. As long as you don't get three outs, uh, we could end up in a good position here. All right, so let's try that, shall we? Oh, it's, not, it's definitely not good. It's a double play. Bernard Dunk there causing disaster. Uh, yeah, that's horrible. Yeah, and it falls to Coral. We've got runners on two and three. Coral just needs a base hit, and we can take the lead. Yep. Floppy head clown. Yeah, I know. All right, Coral is... Well, she's staring three balls. There she goes. She's gone. She's uh, she's walked it to first. And at least Santino to try and convert. Well, we can't sub. We could sub him. Have I got a bat? Hold on. Gas pump it's leaving. They're bringing in PG Percy Jeff. He's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do you want to do? Do you want to sit Santino and bring in a hitter? I mean, I suppose I ought to. It's the go-ahead run. Yeah, all right. Sorry, Santino, you were pitching up a storm there, son, but I'm going to have to bring in a hitter. Uh, and it's probably going to be Julie Hardware. Not Julie Hardware, uh, Johnny Touchdown. There you go. All right, JT, let's, uh, let's cook it. All right, Johnny Touchdown. A base hit will do, Johnny. Don't do anything complex. That'll do. The touchdown there puts us a run up. All right, base is reloaded, and it's Richard Yardline. Number 15. <laughs> hey, whoo, ha. Yeah, Yardline, he's been extremely good today, which means he's probably going to be out here. Uh, but we can't fault him on that, given that he's been really good to us so far today, and he's probably the reason we're still in this game. Uh, ball three, there's strike one. Yeah. Strike two, yard line. Very patient. Fouls one off. That one went in. That was a hell of a fastball. That's not a bad hit, but it's caught. Okay. All right. Okay. It's all good. JT, you're done, son. Okay. Now, who's it going to be? It's going to be Bert. Right. We'll do Bert for an inning and then we'll call back. At the end of seven, BDP now leads seven to six. Seven to six. Well, I mean, you came for a ball game, you, and after the excitement of last week, you were probably going, well, I don't think we'll see the likes of that again. And yet, here we are. Here's PG Percy Jeff. They just brought him on as a pitcher. Are they going to sit him? They're going to sit him. Oh, what a move. They're bringing in Kyle Cohort. Oh, what an error in judgment. They're burning a pitcher. All right, Bert. All right, just keep it simple, son, all right? I mean, this is easy money. Uh, we just got to be, you know, flipping good pitch. Uh, easy money, but easy money. Great pitch. Uh, Cindy has to die for it. Can't quite get there in time, so that'll be a, that'll be the first base hit kind of deal sort of thing there. Unlucky. Here comes Dave the Toast King. All right, runner on first, no outs yet. Let's strike. strike one. Yeah, uh, two benders and a speed ball, please. Good pitch. Oh, oh, well, that's got that's gone an angle, and they only managed to bump all their way to first because the, the way the ball bounced there. That's that's disgusting. 
I'm disgusted. Here comes Bingo Hazmat. He hasn't had any success today so far. But there are now runners on two and three. And now there are runners on one, two and three. No outs. Burt Violence unable to cut through. Is Veronica Gondolier. Oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, to go ahead by quite a bit oh, runs all on base at the current time. And Burt Violence unable to cut through the noise with, uh, with his usual level of effect, which is usually quite a heavy level of effect. That one's outside. That's going to be left. Three balls in a row. Oh, Burt! Now batting, the first baseman. Burt walks in the go-ahead run, and here's Kojak Mister on. And the choice is walk in another run, or Chancer hitting it over the fence again. Oh, God. All right. All right, okay, that's the stuff. There you go. Triple play. Off Kojak Mister on. Whoa. Baseball. Hey. Ho. Oh. Now then. Um. <laughs> uh, hey. Ho, ho. I need a moment. Oh dear. Fletcher. From 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 from. from. Hey. Uh. Yeah. Wow. Well, I tell you what. That pendulum swings both ways. Uh, and the and the, the chat and the crowd go wild. Uh, a defensive piece of awesome uh, set in motion there by uh, who was it? Chubbs. Chubbs Beaver there, the shortstop making the play. Folks, uh, excellent work. And somehow we didn't give up any retired. runs uh, that we didn't we didn't just give them. <laughs> we walked in one run. We walked a run in. Here's Cindy. And it's all it's all square. Uh, Cindy Vapid now. Schnitzel healthy into pitch, who is already tired. Down at the bottom of the eighth. And don't forget, we're playing these lot again in a minute. <laughs> After this game's done, we've got to face them again. Uh, Cindy's out there, run to first. Uh, Val, she's in a great mood, but is 0 for 4 today. I don't know how she can still be in a positive frame of mind. 0 for 4, let's murder out this pitcher's arm, because we've got to play him again. Yeah. Strike 2, ball 2. And there it is, there's a Valerie Hammock hit. Yeah, I know, it's like nothing more exciting than that. She actually got on base, which is pretty rare. Here comes Cookie, whose mood is on fire, and she's only had to swing a bat once today. Uh, two walks she's had in the game so far. And that first one's off target. Okay. So's that. Two balls, no strikes. Uh, Cookie in absolutely no hurry at all. And this pitcher is already starting to look very tired. There's strike two. Cookie put some mustard on the pitch of the ball there and the bat and the twizzles. Yeah. Base hit. Here's Chubbs. Chubbs is on fire. He's very, very confident that we're in a dangerous position and they're, they're done with that pitcher. All right. Okay. Schnitzel healthy. Sits down. Their close, it was their closing pitcher. He closed nothing there. No, not a sausage. Here comes Harriet Reflux in to replace him. She's got full fitness. Uh, but she's not the best pitch you're ever going to see. Look at that targeting reticle for Chubbs Beaver. That's how confident the man is. Oh, that was the, that was the one. He, he had that one banged to rights. Ball one, strike two. Don't try and force it. He's tried to force it, but he hasn't got a range for that kind of a hit. And Chubbs is out in centre field. Okay. 
All right, here's Benny Cheese, and Benny Cheese is on fire. He's three for three and has a walk. He came in with a batting average of 215. He now has a batting average of 318. Uh, Benny Cheese really making the most of his first start this season. That's ball one. All right, Benny. I mean, a base hit or better, a double would be brilliant. Well, he hasn't got quite got a double, but he got a single. And that's loaded up the bases. And it's now Bernard flipping dunk. I've got to sit him. I can't in good conscience keep him in. His mood's positive. Look, look, the entire team's mood is up. All right, dunk. This is, this is it. This is your last chance. No, I've made dubious substitutions and it hasn't come off. This one is a redemption story. All right. Bernard Dunk for the redemption story. Two outs, bases loaded, game tied at the bottom of the eighth. Yeah, don't get much more drama than this. There's ball two. All right. That's ball three. Dunk, if you just have to sit here and get walked, it will do. However, he gets the base hit, and that's the go-ahead run. Whoa. And here comes Coral. The entire team's mood is elevated because the team are playing... They've just played amazing comeback baseball. Uh, this has been a momentum shift that I don't think we've seen in quite some time. Uh, that's ball two. All right, reflux there, struggling to find the strike zone. Base is still loaded, of course. Strike two. I don't think that was. Uh, Coral there. Fouls one off. Well, I mean, it was another weirdly targeted pitch. And that won't do it. But we are ahead now. Coral there. Can't quite find a gap. But at the end of eight, BDP lead eight to seven. Hey. Well, this is it. We're three outs away from an historic comeback. Mansour Kettle Chips is a hell of a batter, and he's up first. Burt Violence is still looking healthy. We've got uh, we've got a closer in the form of Quebec Spire, ready to step in should we need them. All right, okay. And that one's fouled off. Okay. All right. Okay. Burt with the fork ball. That one's fouled off as well. All right, Burt. Anything good here? Kettle chips is probably the best batter you're going to have to face. Unless they go round the clock. And he's got himself a base hit out there to centre field. Not unexpected. Look for the steal. Okay. Expect the bunt. How much speed has he got? He's got some speed. Look for the steal. Dunk. Be ready for it. Yeah, okay. Uh, first one goes nowhere. They are going to try and steal. They're going to try and steal. Ball, that's Ball one. That's strike. Uh, strike two. All right. Come on, Bert. Come on, Bert. Uh, she, uh, she almost bit on that one, but it wasn't quite there. Uh, yeah, keep them outside. Fouled off. All right. Okay, Bert. Take him back inside. Lovely. That one's fouled off. Oh, don't wear out my pitcher by just being unable to hit the flipping ball. That's the full count. Come on, Bert. Chuck it down the middle, son. Don't walk him. Right. There you go. And that's going to be another base hit. That's not good. No. All right. Runners first and second, Center no outs yet. Yeah, we cannot, 61. we cannot rely on uh, on any kind of another triple play piece of magic. That's not going to happen. Uh, all right, just pitch, Bert. Just pitch. Oh, for crying out loud, Bert misses the easy pickup. Now batting the right field, number six. Base is loaded, no outs. Have you got this in you, Bert? Have you? I mean, I could bring on Quebec. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
All right, Quebec's coming in. All right. All right, Quebec, we need the best pitching performance of your entire career. All right, don't give up a hit. All right, that's that's all there is to it. This is, has to be a no-hitter from you here. All right, okay, okay, okay. All right, what do you like? Enjoy uh, just anything, anything. Boom! A hundred mile an hour fastball from Quebec Spire. That's the first one gone. Whoo! He! Here's their pitcher who's going to sit down, uh, being replaced by any warrior. Uh, okay, any warrior is not not in a positive place right now uh, but that's because he's a first pitch dubious well you know what give him something he can hit because we might be able to field it no nope, never mind all right quebec uh, uh, another bender please but quebec perfect excellent and now give him the juice Quebec Spire, two up, two down. Here comes Dave the Toast King. Hua! Right. Okay, this just needs to be don't give up a hit. That's all you have to do. Don't give up a hit, and we won this. So, you know, concentrate. It's gone a long way. Coral's out there. That's the ball game. Booyah! <laughs> Ooh! Ha! Bulldozer power, ladies and gentlemen. You did not believe it. And you should have. Believe it now. It's there. It's done. Quebec Spire. Oh, that's some MVP type behavior right there. And Bulldozer power, their third run on the trot. Uh, taking a win off the division leaders and they're not going to be happy about that one no sir and it has to be said that the coaching decisions made in this game were absolutely primo primo coaching decisions uh, the win awarded to Burt Violence really? yeah apparently so <laughs> Okay. Uh, and Quebec Spire with the save uh, so bizarrely only Quebec's second save this season which I find somewhat hard to believe but there it is uh, Rooster, Rooster Views just getting lit up in the first inning Kojak Mistron unsurprisingly the star player of the day with two home runs uh, then you've got Richard Yardline who put in an absolute belter uh, to get us going uh, and Benny Cheese uh, four for four with a run batted in. Lovely job there. Goodness gracious me. What a game. What a game. What a game. I thought game one last week was good. But that one wasn't quite as good. But it was still good. That was a heck of a game. Uh, 16 CPU games to get through. Do we want to go through them? Or shall I just press the button that makes them all happen? Uh, I'll do the first one. Let's do the first one. This is the Port Miggins Pirates against the Sunshine Fundus, everybody. Uh, Rod's chucked in 20 quid and gone, what a game. And you know what, Rod? You're not wrong. Uh, I didn't even see the result there, but uh, there was one. I'm reliably informed. Here's the Off City Axemen against the Bongolia Sea Raiders. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, we're now only five games out of first. I think we've only got five games left to play, so don't hold your, don't hold your breath. We do have to take another one off. And Steganauts now. Steganauts are the ones that can capitalise on us beating the Palms. They need the win. Uh, and they don't do it. Uh, when we beat Grunt's Auto Group. Nope, they fluffed that. Okay. Uh, Pick Street Miners now Peninsula Transport. Does it matter? Probably. It could do. The Miners are keeping their dreams alive there with another win. It's not enough for them, but the, their dreams are alive. Here comes best in the league beekeepers. And they lose. They slip up against the Colonel Space Agency. That's uh, unexpected. Uh, Failurewood Hill's back in action again against Colonel School. Colonel School out of it. Failurewood Hill's very much in it, but they need the win, and they don't get it. Well. Phew. Here's Cheerio Incorporated taking on the 
Budget roadies. The budget roadies looking strong right now. Chiro Incorporated leading on a technicality. Now leading for reals. Uh, Chiro 24 and 16. Uh, budget three games more played. 24 and 19. Sunshine Fun Bus Sports Ball Union. The two teams that are playing right now. Sunshine Fun Bus with the victory. Keeping their hopes of anything alive. Pick Creek Miners in action again against Colonel School. And it's a uh, Picks Creek win, convincingly, this time around. They're now two and a half games out of first, but that's only due to Cheerio having so many games in hand. Failure Hills in action again against Erg Melonflex. And the Chroniclers have got that one, but it doesn't change anything as far as the season is concerned. The Pathfinders need to stay on path uh, with a win here against Colonel School, which they fail to do. Well, it's clearly upset week. Uh, the Fire Chefs now having a, having a slap against the Shady Palms uh, in a bombastic division showdown. And it goes to extra innings. Shady Palms nailing that one. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, it would have been quite nice to close in on them and maybe finish third this season. The Sea Raiders now up against Faleywood Hills. Desmond Eyeliner pitching for Faleywood Hills. Didn't help them, though. Nope, they still lost. And that makes things very interesting in the Woodchepper. But we don't really care about that too much. Uh, next up, Sweaty Marsupials and the Peninsula Transport having a go. Uh, Sweaty Marsupials getting the win. And that makes them pretty close as far as the Pathfinders are concerned. Closer than they'd like. The Wizard Hole Wizards against the Steganauts. Come on, Wizards. Let's go, Wizards. That's the stuff. Yeah. Wizards thrash them 9-1. Shady Palms now moving to second in the league on run difference. Here's the Toy Masters against the Lingo Blend All Star. Uh, Craig, I am still in the bunker. The bunker is in the midst of being redecorated. The table is in the middle of the room, other than that way. Quite a long way. I can't even reach the camera. Look, that's how far out I am. Uh, you missed the start of the show when a microphone fell off the stand. I'm in a temp I'm in a temporary arrangement. Because uh, I've still got a wall to do, and then I'm relaying stuff. All, normal service will be normal as soon as I've finished it. Uh, right, we're up. It's us versus the auto group again. Richard Boom is pitching for us. Oh, no. Well, he's only pitching for us if nobody else is fit. Uh, Kojak Mistron in good mood, but so is Cindy. So is... Uh, <laughs> what's the name? Cookie, yeah, that's an ape, and and Valerie, they're all in good moods. I've got a lot of like positive female players on my team. Um, right, let's have a look and see if we've got any player development going on. Bubbles could get extra velocity; she doesn't need it. Uh, Rooster, Rooster needs all the help he can get, but there's a one in five chance he loses his elite fastball. No, all right. I'm not taking anything that could disappoint me. Richard Yardline could gain extra speed. Yeah. And a 10% chance. I mean, this is going to cost me a million, effectively. And he's 38. Yeah. Yeah. Coral. What have we got going on, Coral? This is for nothing. She loses one arm, but gains four fielding and one power. 20% uh, chance of gaining choker. Don't want choker, so we'll leave that. The Conservative, at the age of 34, would lose some accuracy. Yeah, 12.5% chance of gaining meltdown, which is a bad thing, which we don't want. Quebec with an... In ah, no, 12.5% chance of losing K Collector, which we want. I don't, I don't know. That's all rubbish. Who's available on the, uh, on the transfer list at the moment? Let's have a look. Uh, Barabas Void... I haven't got an awful lot of budget to make a, a contract change. Yeah, I know the cat's out there. He'll give up in a minute. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, it would be nice to have a second hammock sister on the team. Yeah, you can't afford her, though. No, she is very expensive. I mean, for a centre fielder, a B-plus rated centre fielder. No, I can't, I can't afford uh, the... <laughs> I can't afford a 17 million quid contract. She can get knotted. Uh, I mean, it's, it's only... Well, who else would you change? 
I'd, I mean, if there were an elite catcher, I'd be interested, but there isn't. Yeah. Uh, hard to say for sure. He, I don't think there's anyone there that is within our price range at the current time. So, there you are. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. Let's get to the ball game. No changes for BDP. All right. Uh, right, we're going to have a look. Like, Dunk, you are sitting this one out because you're tired. All right, sub you out. We're going to bring in this gurning chimp. Uh, and you can play instead. Yeah, I mean, we've, so we've got a bad batter on the team. It's It could be worse. Right. All right, Boomy. Who else is available? Right, Bubbly is tired. Rooster is... He played the last game, so he's tired. And Beretta is not quite fully fit and she's underconfident well we'll be we starting richard boom then any other changes shandy worthless his confidence is still down and frankly after the game that benny cheese just gave us i'm not inclined to bring him back in just yet so uh so let's rock and roll let's rock and roll okay we're on are we at home again we are Okay. Second time home game. Whew. Okay. All right. Ah, just Welcome back get this to Colonial out of Plaza. Gee, golly gosh, this is a super duper occasion. What's Shandy doing on the field? Send him sit down. He's not playing. All right. It looks to me, unless I'm mistaken, you can probably correct me. Mate, have they changed their batting order? Batting the it's anybody's guess. Number anyway, it's Veronica four. Gondolier up first, and it's a it's a whole fresh it's a whole fresh day, and that one will go straight to Chubbs, who will throw it to Cindy, and that's the first out. Now batting the third click, baseman, click. number eighteen. Right. Good, yeah, it is Flint Dewimple. Uh, okay. What are you feeling like, Boom? I uh, just throw the ball a bit. I like it. Strike one. Okay. Bending a second. Oh, that's a nice pitch. And that's fouled off. Okay. And here comes the killer. Not quite, Benny. All right, Benny tries to catch it with his knees. I don't know if he'd have made it there in time with his glove or not. But, uh, the, the choice to. Uh, Hunt that one down was the wrong choice. Here's Kojak Mister on, and we're not afraid of Kojak Mister on this time around because it's a whole different game. Cindy fluffs a flaming catch. Oh, Cindy. She's How playing out of position, dude. Stop. Give her a break. I don't care. <laughs> All right, here's Mansour Kettle Chips. This is starting to feel eerily familiar. Yeah, isn't this how the last game started? A little bit, yeah. But you've got to put yourself in the mental headspace of needing four more runs than the opposition because of how the game likes to give the opposition a bit of a, a bit of a cheeky booster once in a while. Flipping another good hit. And the bases are loaded. We've been here before. One out, he's bingo hazmat. They have changed the batting order. He was up first in the last game and completely choked on every opportunity. Uh, all right. Okay. Hold it together. That's foul. That's foul. Okay. Right, 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 right. Boomy, hold it together, son. Hold it together. Benny Cheese. No. That's going to be the first run of the day and the second run of the day. Chubbs whips it over to home, but it's too little, too late. Number six. All right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Patrick, everyone got on base. Everyone. Everyone has got on base. <laughs> this is... Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, Kojak is nothing special in this regard. Uh, the, the lack of fear was purely down to not expecting any kind of a uh, uh, home run scenario. That could have been worse. A double play to round things off. <clears throat> but not before giving up two. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You love him. You know him. It's Richard Yardline. Uh, 
he's done a lot for us in the last few games. He's allowed an off game. That's okay. Who's pitching? It's uh, Barry Octopus Prime. Okay. Not the best pitch you're going to see, but not terrible either. Oh, come off it. That will have skimmed past him. Yardline can't outpace a dropped ball there from the pitcher, which is a bit sickening. Yeah. Did I at least break his fingers? No. Yeah. Now it is Cindy. Yeah. Can't sin. Sinned with a clunker, but it gets her far enough, and she's made it to first. Have they changed their catcher? Because uh, if so, we might go sprinting with Cindy, uh, which is a new video series. Uh, no, same catcher. All right. Valerie. Is this going to be the day that Valerie comes back into it? If you say so, I mean, that was a bit skinny if you, if you ask me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dirty play. Referee, send them off. Two balls, two strikes. Uh, Val doesn't quite thread the needle on that one, but Cindy's up to second. And here comes Cookie. And she's in a good mood. She can reach the fence on a good day. Okay. Is it a good day? I don't know. I don't know. All right. One on one counts. Second ball. Yeah. And ball three. All right. The one thing we're not doing here is swinging. Okay. And that'll be the end of that then. Okay, right, Cookie can't capitalise. And at the end of one, BDP trail two to nothing. Not having found the magic that they had in the last game just yet. Uh, you, may, you may not recall. Might have been a blur of emotion for you. But in the last game, we started out strong offensively. Even though we had a lot of making up to do. Uh, we had a strong offensive performance throughout the game, and it just wasn't there for us in that one. We're not overly downhearted, but, you know, it would have been nice to do a bit better. But it's okay. It's all right. You can try the change-up. This is your first and only change-up attempt, if it doesn't work. Hey! The boom drops the change-up and gets a strikeout. Here's Dave the Toast King. All right, boomers, we'll try two fasts and a slow and see if it works. But your fast really hasn't got much on no. it. And you've blown it by not being on target. So just throw whatever you like. Hooah! Right, let's go. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. Big game. Big game. We, I mean, we are, at this point in the season, we're just playing for pride. Uh, but there is there are notable signs of life. From Bulldozer Power in this latter half of the season. In fact, we'll have to have a look at some point to see if, in fact, uh, we have had a better second half of the season than first half. But now's not the time for that. We're in the middle of a game. Yeah. And that's the sort of thing to look at at another point. This idiot's just swinging wildly at everything. All right. High, inside, speedy. All right, okay, good. Better second inning. Nothing further conceded there. Here comes the Beaver. And again, he played strongly in the last game, so we, I mean, he's allowed to have an off game. It'd be nice if he didn't. He's out. All right, it's all right. Here's Benny Cheese. He's took his, base, his batting average from 215 up to 348 in the course of one game that's the kind of game he had and uh well i mean are we going to get anything from him today not on the evidence of that one that's out number two here's floppy head clown julius hardware i've got two floppy head clowns who play catch the uh, uh, catcher yeah yeah Julius Hardware, of course, having to do a hell of a lot to get any kind of uh, props 
from me at all because we hate him. Here's Coral's success. We got on both, obviously. Here's Coral. Come on, Coral. What's it going to be? You're not going to get to the fence, Coral. A low bouncer will do the trick. Whoa, whoa. Also, waiting for more than one pitch to go past would not be the end of the world either. Today's mascot race is canceled. That's the end of that. The end of two. BDP trials two to nothing. Speedy recovery. Now back. Okay. Second All right. Number Background to Veronica Gondolier for the Grunt Auto Group. A uh, bit of a defensive game so far, but uh, it will open up at any point. It could happen any time that this game opens right up. That's a strike and a half, my friend. A lovely pitch there from Richard Boone. And there it is. Yep. Two bendies and a flipping speedball gets the job done. Here's Flynn. Two Wimple got on base in the last time that she had a go with the bat at hitting the ball. And can she do it again? Oh, she went for that one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Go, go speedball second. Speedball second. All right. It's inside. Nah, she didn't, didn't fall for it. Well, it wasn't it wasn't quite on target. Yeah, I know, but that's just details. Coral makes the snag out in left field. Two outs is Kojak, who got someone out last time around. Oh, Kojak. Yeah. And Coral will pick that one off as well. Okay, good, good. Solid defense. Richard Boom up to bat. No pressure, Richard. Get on base. Don't get on base. It really makes no difference. Getting on base would be nice, though. That's a nice hit. It's going to be caught. It was a nice hit. Hey, here comes Richard Yardline. All right. Come on, son. Now, time to stop mucking about. It's time to go to work. How's this pitcher holding up? Well, he's a starter, so he's going to be holding up quite well if he came in with full stamina, which he did. This is pitch 30 of the day. Two balls. All right. Yeah. That's a nice hit from yard line. That's gone the wrong side of the foul line, but it's all good. That's a less good hit that is going to leave him out. Out number two. Here comes Cindy. Well, I'll be honest, Cindy. Do what you like. Nutmegs the pitcher. Will find her way to the first base. Uh, well, she'll do a little dance that says, I got a base hit. I, 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 I got a base hit. Here's Valerie Hammock. Blowing colder than she is hot of late. No, no, I'm not going anywhere. Your, your catch has got too good an arm. And Valerie's out. Get the material. Flaming Hammock's in such a f good frame of mind. She's been reliable all ruddy season. At the end of three, it is 0 uh, 2 2 0 2 0. Nil. Number 31. Yeah. Uh, it's 30 love uh, to the Grunt Auto Group. Yeah. Is Richard Boom throwing the ball in only the way that he can? Valerie gets it, throws it, and it's another out. Well, both teams subscribing to if you can't be good, be quick. Here comes Bingo Hazmat. He got a single and batted in two runs from his first at bat. In the last game, he didn't get a single hit. Pretty sure he didn't get a single hit. Uh, either way, he didn't get. He had a lot of at bats, but he didn't get very many hits at all. I don't think he got a single. Did he? I don't know. Can't remember. Well, I don't know. debate it further. Why don't he's out again? Here comes Mildred Slippings, and she is not confident. Uh, but obviously, it's it's your first pitch prayer going on. So we throw her something easy. And we'll throw a second pitch curve, which she watched coming in. And now she thinks she's got the measure of things. We'll throw a third pitch speedball. Pitch, the word you were looking for there. Mispronunciation, that's all because I knew the word ball was coming up and I just jumped the gun a little bit on throwing a B in. So say we all. Uh, anyway, she gets on base. Here's hand sanitizer. All right. Okay. Yeah. That's a strike and a half. Strike one. All right. Nice looking pitch, but it didn't come off. Okay. All right. Come on, boom. Do it. 
fouled that one off as well. What do you got, Rich? What's it going to be? What's it, where are we going? Uh, just over there somewhere. That's not ideal. Cookie dives, makes the catch, but doesn't make the play. Okay. Yeah. Runners now at the corners. Two outs. Dave Toast King up to bat. And uh, and the boom needs to find some of that defensive power prowess that he's had early doors. They tried the steal, which is foolish. Oh, come off it. No, you know who's... Oh, uh, no. It's because Julius Hardware is my catcher. Yeah, at least Boom's got an arm. Not Boom. Bunk, whatever his name is. I've even erased his name from my thinking. There he goes, a strike out. Um, well, that was fortunate. Giving up the hits, but not giving up the runs is a good way to be. Cookie Peaches Wallace next up to bat. Patience, Cookie. Patience. And then if you want to take him downtown, be my guest. Well, let's, uh, let's get this... Because we, we did quite a dent in their pitches in the last game. So let's try and uh, work that in our favour. It's a big one from Cookie. And it's out of here. All right. We're in the game. We're on to the... We're into the... We're on the... Un, into, we're, we're on the scoreboard. Cookie lighting up her 10th home run of the year. Chubbs Beaver next up. Okay. All right, we've scored. That's a, that's a something. Beaver wastes no time in getting out. Excellent. Remember, we're trying to drain the pitcher. I know, I know, I know. I know. Tip out his prowess. What? I don't know. Anyway, 40 pitches we've had off him so far is Benny Cheese. He's not wasting. No, my goodness me. Has that gone? It has. Benny Cheese! gone and done it um he got the absolute perfect hit on that one and uh it's out of here here's julie hardware well he got on base last time around uh so it's anybody's guess isn't it Whew. yeah what an exciting fourth inning this has been it's it's anything can happen fourth inning there's three balls in a row. Hardware not even flinching. And he's walking. All right. He may be floppy head, uh, but he's on base. Big Cheese. Benny the Big Cheese. Gary Banks there. Chucking in the name for the Big Cheese. I can't say I disagree. Anyway, here's Coral. I can't spend all my time looking at the chat. It's ball two. Right. Come on, Coral. There's ball three. Have we got in this guy's head or something? No, he's a wild thing, which means that once his pictures start going all over the place, anything could happen. All right. You bet that's a strike. Full count. All right, Coral. Coral does the worst thing imaginable and gets everybody out. However, at the end of inning number four, it is now two all. Two all. Okay. All right. And Optimus Prime is next up to bat. Are they going to keep him in? They are keeping him in. All right. Don't waste your clever stuff on this guy, uh, Boomy. What do you mean, ball? That was clearly on target. What the hell are you talking about? Just, I mean, spare me. Oh, a nice hit from the pitcher. He's going to be dead, but, I mean, good effort. How about it? The Here's Veronica Gondolier. She's so far, she's 0 for 2. Uh, and, uh, well, I mean, you know, anything. It, well, <laughs> I'd say anything can happen, but we've just played these guys and we know already that anything can happen. And speaking of which, there's a double. Coral will chuck that back out to second. Yeah, now batting. The third base. Flinty Wimple. 18. Runner on second, one out. Wimple up to bat. They're going to try and steal third. And uh, Julius Hardware just lets it happen. Because he's got a spaghetti arm. Oh dear. Yeah. 
Now, I mean, presumed, I mean, whoever it is that just ran is fairly fast. But, I mean, you wouldn't go so far as to say they were, like, ludicrous speed. Hey! Got the out that mattered. Yeah, steal that, clown. Uh, it's Kojak Mistron, who is 0 for 2 today. And uh, runner on first. But we know that Kojak is happy-go-lucky when it comes to banking it over the fence. But I'm not sure she's got the range on this one. Uh, has she? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Yep. All right. Well, Kojak there takes it downtown. That's three home runs she's hit against us in two games. Oof. Yeah. Here's Mansour Kettle Chips. Uh, uh, who is arguably capable of downtowning it himself, but didn't manage it in the last game. Okay, all right, okay. And gets himself on base. Although well, he should have left that. That was that was about a million miles off target. Uh, here's Bingo Hazmat. Runner on first, two outs. Uh, Richard Boone still looking lively-ish. Well, he wasn't looking lively-ish a minute ago. No, he was looking good a minute ago. Now he's just looking lively-ish. There's the steal attempt, and I'll probably have it. Yep. Yep. Because I've got a noodle-armed catcher. Come on, Boomy. Deal with it. Nope. Try to change up. It worked once. Maybe it will change again. Oh, that's off target. Throw the first. First! I, d I pressed the wrong button. That should have been announced. That one's on me. That's on me. Give that one on me. However, uh, I would like to note that Julius Hardware just dropped the ball. Yeah. Yeah. And, and gave up a base hit. Yeah. That should have been a strike. Out. A strike out. Not a strike. A strike out. That would have been. But Julius Hardware dropped the ball. The fact that I then threw it to the wrong base. That's neither here nor there. Uh, but it happened. It, that's the thing that happened. There you go. That's got him. Yeah, break your bat. See if I care. Yeah. Right, and we're behind again. We hate Julius Hardware because he stinks. All right, here's Richard Boom. All right, Richard. Number sixty. You've got one more inning to pitch, so do something, would you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, by which I mean. Stand here and see if you can't take six pitches off this guy. Or not. All right, that's strike two. Ball one. Nice. Ball two, just. Yeah. Popped that one up. Okay, you didn't manage six, but you did manage five. That'll do. Okay, here's Richard Yardline. He's 0 for 2 today. He saved us last week. Can he do it again now? I say last week. I mean, you know, an hour and a bit ago. Yeah. No. Okay. All right. Yeah, you sound confident about that. Very confident. Here comes Cindy. Well, she's got on base twice, but hasn't managed to really be capitalize on that. Uh, she's not been surrounded by the best players, and she's going to get on base again. <sighs> Here's Valerie. What's happened to you, Valerie Hammock? All right, Val. Come on. Yeah. We've had 60 pitches off this bloke now. He's about done. You bet that's a and we're still not stealing. Oh, the arm on that catcher is, is not on fire. Well, that's it's ball two. Okay. Cindy takes off. Yes. All right. Okay. Three balls, one strike. We possibly didn't even need to do that. But it's important. Cindy. That would have been really close. They threw to the cutoff. She'd have had it. Nuts. Okay. But Cindy now on third. It comes Cookie. Cookie. Now pitching. Base it and do it. This Octavian Centrifuge, the reliever, and he's not a good pitcher. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. 
Alright. Yeah. Base hit, please. Or better. Base hit or better. Base hit or better. Okay, two balls. Yep. Base hit or better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let it go past. Don't don't stress it. That's not it. Cookie gets out hey, and a scoring opportunity wasted. At the end of five innings, it is the Grunt Auto Group 4, Bulldozer Power 2. <coughs> These things happen. You can't let it you can't let it get on top of you or even to the side of you. And nick in the duvet. Here comes hand sanitizer. And we need one good inning here out of Richard Boom, ideally. Although, Richard, I am giving you the side eye in the sense of I'll sit you at any minute, son. All right? So, you know, you want to hold it together. I'd like to get you rounds to bat again first. But I'm not entirely certain that's going to happen. Yard line. It's off the flaming fence. Uh, and they're going for thirds, and the ball's going to get there now. That's a triple you just gave up. Number 13. Okay, here's Dave Toast King. Yeah, no, sometimes you've got to let him have a triple. It's Says who? Where's that written? Yeah. Uh, also, Boomy is not tired. He's fine. He's he's still got his, you know, game start momentum potential uh, energies going on. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, that was a strike. I was going to say, there's no way you read that as a flipping ball. It was too close to the edge. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, Boomy. That one's gone skyward. Coral's going to get it, but they're going to go for home. Coral with the throw. You're not going to get that. No, sir. Okay. One out is the pitcher. Oh, are they going to sit him? No. Well, I would say that was a mistake, but uh, okay. They're going to try and steal home. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, what is the problem with fielding bunts? It shouldn't be that hard. Oh, dear. And they stole home off a bunt. Oh, it's sickening. I'm sickened. Yeah. I'm dismayed and disconsolate. Yeah. And, uh, I can't uh, the, uh, there's no player I can blame there it's just uh, bunts which should be automatic aren't yeah okay there's the throw back to first just in case um, right okay two outs one runner on first right now that is Flinty Wimple yeah huh? yeah and clearly, the Grunt Auto Group, it should say on their strategy documentation, careful, these clowns <laughs> bunt very right. effectively. And you're going to go, what do you mean they bunt very effectively? Who has that as a strategy? You're going to go, this team. This team has it as a strategy. Cookie's waving for it. And that'll put the end to that. But not before we give up another run, which I'm not pleased about. However, we do have Chubbs, Benny, Floppy Hair coming up. All right. Okay. Okay. Chubbs, on base, please. Get on base. Nothing else. Just get on base. I don't care. Just get on base. All right. If you want to hit a home run, be my guest. But fundamentally, just get on base. It's a nice hit from Chubbs, but he's going to be caught. Here's Benny Cheese. Benny, over the fence, mate. Over the fence. Put it out of it. Just get it, get it gone. Oh, Benny with a late swing. Ball one, strike one. Benny is out of here. Right? Okay. Yep. yep. Here's floppy head flipping noodle arm. Who we can't stand with his smug little face. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to hurt him so bad. Yeah, strike two, ball one. Swings at nothing, but gets a foul. That's okay. Swings at nothing, gets another foul. Yeah. And he gets on base. 
Yeah, wouldn't you know it? Well, yes, I would. I would. I would know it. Most definitely. Here's Coral, who's been a big nothing in the last couple of games. Coral, base hit, please. Or more. Yeah. It's only hardware ahead of you, and he's not hes not doing anything special. Coral there is going to be caught. And that's the end of that. As the chances start to evaporate, it would have been nice to be able to get a flipping opportunity to sub Richard Boom out for Reverend Joe there, but that's not happening. Boomy, sit down. You've done your time. All right, Jeffy boy, let's rock. The Conservative is in the house. Jeff Conservative against Kojak Mister on. You never would have thought you'd see the day, but here it is. Strike one, the Conservative chucks in a zinger. That one's popped up. Coral has to come in, but she's got it. Okay, all right. Here's Mansour Kettle Chips. He's in a positive frame of mind. Uh, he's two for two in the game so far. And, and the fact that we're here in the seventh inning and we're talking about people being on their third at bat just goes to show what kind of a defensive struggle this game really has been. Uh, Yardline will have to field that one. But that's not unexpected. Kettle Chips has, has been a, a solid base hitter in both games today. All right, here's Bingo, the has has Matt. Start with the curve. Hey. Yeah. Curve's off target. Try again. Here comes the curve. That's on target. And fouled off. Good. Right. Here comes the speedy. It's inside. That's okay. He went for it. And that worked. And here it comes. The traditional Jeff Conservative change-up. useless catcher well we got the out and that's what matters uh is mildred slippings she's one of three from her at bats uh she's no good on first pitch yeah all right keep it on time don't be clever right okay maybe i should have been cleverer no it's fine coral's got it Okay. Fans, unfortunately, we've had to cancel the mascot race for today. Okay, the Jeff Spiders Conservative first up to bat. Are we subbing him? No, we are not. He does 41. get hits on occasion. Um, and there's no one else on base and we've got no outs. So there's nothing really to lose by letting him bat here. He's out, though, obviously. I mean, you know, you can't expect miracles. Here's Richard Yardline. Rich, we need you on base, and then we need you sprinting around the perimeter of this field like you mean business, son. Although we trail by three, so that won't even that won't do it. Yeah. Anyway, Yardline gets his first on base today. All right. Okay. 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 You feel like stealing? No. Really? Is it worth the risk? Well, he is fast. He's very fast today. He's off to the races. Yardy makes it in. Okay. All right. Cindy facing two balls at the moment. That's strike one. Yeah. Yeah. Cindy, it's big. It's not big enough. She's going to be caught. Yardy, get back. So, all right, now go. You left out a bit late. But he gets to thirds. Okay, all right. All right, okay, here's Val. Come on, Valerie. Get us a run, please. I mean, we need more than one run, but get us a run because it might feel like we could possibly get our way back into this game. She's not done it, though, hasn't she? No. Weak sauce again from Valerie Hammock. And at the end of seven, Grunt Auto Group 5 BDP 2. His hand sanitizer flew to triple last time around off a very nice uh, rebound off the fence, uh, which foxed yard line no end, and he couldn't do much about. All right, we're going to try him on the uh, on the conservative standard, but the second pitch is off target. Oh, God. You've got to keep him on target, Jeff, otherwise they don't fall for it. All right, Chubbs. Nope, he's short. 
Okay. Well, that's a base hit. That's not what we wanted at all. How bad? No. Catcher, Here's the toast, 13. King. All right. Uh, start. Start quick. All right. I'll start quick. Nope. Noodle arm. Off target. He's thrown it all the way to Richard Yard line. Yeah, that's some some top notch fielding there, team. And I think that's possibly the story of the day. Uh, I am prepared to concede this one. I don't think this is... Uh, it's not our day. No, we're going, uh, we're going win one, lose one today. We're not, uh, we're not pulling off... Number 40. Not pulling anything off out of this one. I don't think Valerie's in the... I, I don't think Valerie's in the same price range as Vanessa, uh, Richard, as we said. Uh, also, Vanessa doesn't have uh, mind weevils. We do, I don't, I've done it again. Yeah, just get him out. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, I know, but they've had quite a lot of pop off some of those bunts. Uh, and, and we've struggled to get to them in time to get them out. Right, one out. Runners on second and third. Uh, BDP just looking confused. And that's going to be another run. Yeah, yard line will bang that one in from downtown. Uh... And we give up second base in the process, oh, which is a mistake. Okay. All right. Well, these things happen. Uh, is Flinty Wimple still only one out at the moment? And the Conservative is uh, he's looking fine. But he's he's not got much left in him. But it's top of the eighth. So, you know. Yeah. Let's strike two. Try it. You never know. No. Fouled off. Okay. All right, after Burns. Nope, that's another double. That's another two runs. Okay, they're cooking us because we embarrassed them in the last game. Yep. 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 Here's Kojak Mister on. I wonder if she's going to hit this one over the fence. She might. She anticipated the curve. Well, let's see if she anticipates it again. Nope. Let's see if she anticipates it this time. Oh dear. Oh, he didn't hit that very hard, did you? Out number two. Now batting the short okay, it's kettle 31. chips. What of him? Um, nothing. Just looking. Yeah, no, I don't want any of these buttons. What I want to do is I want to right trigger, strategize, yes, and Take walk me. him. I think he was good for a double. Hazmat, on the other hand, he'll hit this one over the fence. But uh, no, you have to. You've got to. You've got, I'm working on the assumption that Hazmat is not going to hit this one over the fence. You anticipated that. Oh, okay. I thought that was the first time I'd done that. All right. Come on, Jeff. Put him away, and then you can sit out the last inning. Oh, for pity's sake. Yeah, I know. Yard line flings it in towards the foppy haired clown. Uh, but that's the bases loaded, is Mildred Slippings. Speaking of slipping, how's that game going for you today? Well, it's a, it's a stinker. It is a stinker. Uh, it's a stinker of a game, this one. Yeah. We've got no offense, and our defense has been unpleasantly poor uh, coupled with some unnecessary errors in uh, in judgments uh, cheeky bunts Coral makes a jumping catch well there's a bright spark for you but not before we've given up another three yeah okay yeah okay let's go come on cookie what are we playing with what are we cooking? Well, Cookie's at bat here. We'll tell us everything we need to know about this inning. All right. How she does is going to be the uh, the telltale for how the rest of the inning goes. She gets a walk. What does that mean? It means that Chubbs Beaver's about to get his first hit of the day. Does it? Yep. He's 0 for 3. Okay. Do you reckon his first hit's coming up? Yep. Alright, ball one. 
Strike one. Strike two. Yeah, I, I felt that one doing a late sink. That one, however, was too high. All right, Chubbs, come on. Don't make me a liar, Chubbs. Come on. Well, Chubbs is not getting his first base hit of the day. What? Oh, no. Yes, there is. He got on base. He did run out his friend, but he got on base anyway. Number 48. Yeah. Here's the cheese. All right. He wastes no time. And also gets his friend out and gets on base. This is how we're playing it. Number 42. Here's the unspeakable horror that is Julius Hardware. Yeah. Alright, you're our second best last hope for peace here, uh, Julie. He's on base. That's, that's what happens from low expectations, though. He gets on base and we don't care. Uh, is Coral. Okay, Coral. Coral, you don't have you don't have enough bat to get it to the fence, alright? That's a strike and a half, my friend. What was that one doing? I don't know. That was some kind of weird speed That's pitch. Oh, no. Right. Don't miss two with a swing and a miss. That's better. You, I told you, you didn't have enough back to get to the fence. <clears throat> you should be bouncing them. Never mind. At the end of eight, uh, Grunt Auto Group, eight. BDP, two. Now back to Any fielder, questions? All right. That's Sit down, Jeff. You've you've done. You're, you're, you're done for the day. Now then. Bert is moderate. Yeah. Santino is good. Okay. Wobbleboard is moderate. Yeah. Quebec is also moderate. Well, do you reckon Quebec can clean them up quick? We'll try it. <clears throat> okay. I mean, the odds of us taking this to extra innings or uh, or cleaning it up are somewhere between zero and less than that. Strike two, Quebec, what a pitcher. What a pitcher. Popped up. Don't flip and drop this hardware. Out number one. How about it? Number 13. Okay. Alright. Is Dave Co Toasty Toast Toast? Right. We're into their kind of mid-order batters here. Who are not the finest you're ever going to see. That one's not on target. Um, but they can still make a mess if we snooze. That one, however, is only going as far as Cookie. And she'll take that. Here's the pitcher, Octavian Centrifuge. And they're that confident they're keeping him in. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. You know what he's going to fall for? A Quebec special. No, no, we're not. No, we've got a hit. <clears throat> the Quebec special is not here. Here's Veronica Gondolier. She's got two hits today, but they were both doubles. All right, Quebec. Come on. Come on, Quebec. Come on. Yeah. No, Quebec. No, no, not this time. All right. Okay, not this time. Runners now first and second, now two outs. Here's Flinty Wimple, who I feel like we only saw like 30 seconds ago. They're getting through the batting order super quick. Cindy with the jump can't make it happen. Cookie misses an easy ball. And that's going to be two runs. Now batting the Brilliant. Here's Kojak Mister on everybody. Uh, Quebec scratching her head, kind of going, this usually works. Not today. No. All right. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's all fine. It's okay. Uh, you, I mean, sometimes you have the best game you've ever seen, and then you follow it up with a honker. All right. Strike two. And then... That might be on target. It's not. Val actually makes a play. And that's the third out. All right. Heading into the bottom of the ninth. BDP. Only need eight runs to take this into overtime. Well, Quebec's going to go sit down because, I mean, she's tired anyway. As a, as a, a closing pitcher, she really doesn't have it. Uh, here comes Reverend Joe. And this will tell us everything you need to know about this inning. 
Yeah. What will it tell us? Well, it'll tell us whether Joe's in good form or not. But they're going to substitute this pitcher anytime soon. All right, strike two, ball one. Yeah. Actually, this relieving pitcher has now thrown 50 pitches. It's pretty flipping impressive. Will they start reliever? By any chance? Oh, it might be. Does it really matter? No, 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 not at all. Yardy, get on base. We want to try stealing. All right, okay, don't bother. <laughs> Here comes Cindy. Two outs. And uh, as you know, BDP at their most dangerous when they've got two outs. Because they might get the third out and frequently do. It's a good hit from Cindy. She's going for two. It's a double from Cindy Vapid. That's nice. <clears throat> Okay. All right. Well, that's different. It's well. We're now relying on the dubious prowess of Valerie Hammock, who has been off form for two games now, if not more. I only remember being off off form for both games today. All right. Strike one. Yeah, he is a start reliever. Ah, that explains why he's got so much stamina. Yeah, he's already quite tired though. Yep. And Val finishes it off in the way that she's been playing all day. Uh, disappointing result for Bulldozer Power. Uh, but the fact that we didn't go 0-2 uh, today is that's not so bad. This is the division leading team, even if they don't look all that impressive. Uh, a defensive performance from both sides. Uh, the loss awarded to Richard Boom is sixth of the season. Centrifuge getting the win, his fourth. Your three stars, Flinty Wimple hit three of six with two doubles. Uh, yeah, all right, four runs batted in. Uh, Veronica Gondolier, three of six with two doubles. Uh, I see what's going on here. And then Hand Sanitizer, who managed to get a three base. Uh, uh, well, it's what they call a triple. It's what they call a triple. He managed to triple one of them. Ah, nuts. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Okay, what's happening? Oh, it's a moment of genius game design. Chumpton Sports Equipment have sent me some complimentary massage machines. Who do I want to like me more? Uh, Coral. There we go, because that'll keep both of them relatively happy. 11 games to play. We're going to rattle through them fast. Bosh, that's how fast. Now let's have a look at the, uh, at the scores on the doors. Uh, yeah, standings. Okay, Grunt Auto Group out top on the Bombastic with 25 wins. Their last coming against me just now. Shady Palms in the chase. Three games back. How many games to play? Not many. Uh, Steganauts on 22 wins as well. We're on 19, two games ahead of the Fire Chefs, who we get to play a double against later in the season. Sunshine Fun Bus tied up with Faleywood Hills in the Wood Chipper. That's an edge of the seat special right there. Colonel Space Agency, not out of it, but not in it either. Uh, in the Whoop, that doesn't mean anything. I know. Uh, the Whoop Whoop Division see the Red Star Pathfinders leading the way, but they're only a game and a half ahead of the sweaty marsupials who are coming in strong. Lingo Blend, two and a half games back. Could consider themselves in the running, even though they're probably not. Uh, over in Bad Company and in the Smooth Division, it's the Nomads. And Wizard Hole Wizards, all square with 26 wins. Uh, Stardozers, two and a half games back. Maybe, but probably not. Uh, in the Zesty, the Beekeepers, the strongest team so far this season. 28 wins for them. They're six games up on Sports Ball Union. I think they've probably done it. And in the Sloganator, it's Cheerio Incorporated, who are a game and a half of head, ahead of the Budget Roadies, who are a game ahead of the Picks Creek Miners. Anything could happen there, couldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's the uh, wildcard standings as they look right now. If you joined only for the second game today, go back and watch the first one, because the first one was really great. The second game wasn't. My apologies for the second game not being really great. I'll be back next weekend with more of the same where we'll probably play as badly as we have done and as well as we have done. But you won't know unless you watch it. Uh, 
so there you go i've been colonel failure thanks very much for watching and i'll talk to you soon cheerio